Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to configure Sophos Connect Client version 2.2. Sophos Connect is a secure VPN client that you can install on Windows and Mac computers. It allows you to connect off-site employees to internal resources on your network from a remote location. It can also connect to the Sophos firewall using SSL or IPsec connections. In this video, I'll give a brief comparison of IPsec and SSL VPN protocols. Then I'll show you the steps to configure the Sophos Connect client, how to use the provisioning file to quickly import policy settings, and finally, how to enable one-time password for enhanced security. Before configuring Sophos Connect client, you should already have an IPsec and or SSL VPN connection configured in Sophos Firewall. Refer to the configuration tech vid for detailed steps if needed. The link is in the description. In addition, Sophos Connect is supported on Windows 10 and above, and Mac OS 10.13 and above. Note that for the Mac OS client, only IPsec VPNs are supported at this time. Let's get started. First, let's quickly look at the main differences between IPsec and SSL VPN. IPsec uses port 500 to create the tunnel to connect to the Sophos firewall, which provides a more robust security. However, Port 500 is commonly closed on home networks and must be opened to ensure functionality. IPsec can also use port 4500, which can be used with NAT traversal. SSL VPN, on the other hand, can be configured to use any open port, such as 443, which can make the initial setup simpler. Let's move on to configuring the Sophos Connect client. As a reminder, you should already have IPsec and or SSL VPN remote access configured in the Sophos firewall. Once again, refer to the TechVid link in the description for detailed configuration steps. With this in place, you'll be able to download a connection file, which is used to import connections onto an endpoint. This file has the .scx extension. To download the file from SFOS, navigate to Remote Access VPN, IPsec and select Export Connection at the bottom. Now that the connection file is generated, it can be distributed to users through email or GPO. In the event that certain users require a different configuration, the Sophos Connect admin client can be used to create as many SCX files as needed. To import the connection file, the user will have to install the Connect client on their machine. Before installation, Ensure no previous versions of the Sophos Connect client are present. If there are, uninstall them before proceeding. Now, to download the client, log into the VPN portal. Under Sophos Connect Client, click Download for Windows. For the Windows installation, run the MSI file with an account that has permission to install applications. Accept the EULA. Click Install, then click Finish. For Mac clients, the process is similar. In the VPN portal, choose Download for Mac OS. Open the PKG file and click Continue. Select the disk for installation. Click Install and enter your credentials. If you see a prompt for access to system events, click OK. Then close the installer. Once the user has installed the client and downloaded the SCX file, they need to click Import Connection. Then they simply click import and sign in. For SSL VPN connections, the user will need to enter the VPN portal. Choose download for Windows, Mac OS, Linux. This time, an OVPN file will be downloaded. However, this is imported in the same way as the SCX file. Now, I'll go over the Sophos Connect provisioning file which eliminates much of the overhead of configuration files. The provisioning file is compatible with both IPsec and SSL VPN connections on the Sophos firewall, but only works if you're using Connect version 2.2 and above. If you've configured IPsec remote access settings, running the provisioning file automatically imports the SCX configuration file into Sophos Connect for all users. On the other hand, the OVPN configuration file is only imported to users assigned to an SSL VPN remote access policy. Using the provisioning file has several benefits. The SCX and OVPN files are automatically imported to the user's endpoint. 
any configuration changes that you make down the road are automatically imported, and if needed, you can specify more than one gateway as well as the priority of those gateways. To create and send the provisioning file, go to the following URL, which we've also linked in the description. In the provisioning file section, copy the settings you need and paste them into a text editor such as Notepad++. The only mandatory field is the gateway address. Once you have all your fields, save the file with a .pro extension. Then, email this provisioning file to your users or use a GPO. Keep in mind, to prevent users from seeing a certificate error when the configuration file is imported, you must create a new appliance certificate. Use the new certificate for the web admin console of the Sophos firewall. To do this, go to Certificates, Certificate Authorities, and download the default certificate. You must then push the default CA to users. The simplest way to do this is with an Active Directory GPO. The steps for this are linked in the description. Once the user has the provisioning file, they simply open it and enter their credentials. This will connect the client and automatically pull the IPsec and or SSL VPN configuration. Note, if an SSL VPN profile is configured, the user will only see the public IP for that connection. This will be addressed in a future update of the Sophos Connect client. Lastly, to enhance the security of Sophos Connect, we recommend you enable one-time password or OTP. This is a form of multi-factor authentication and it will ask for an additional piece of authentication for the users. To enable this in SFOS, go to Authentication, Multi-Factor Authentication. In this example, I'll only enable OTP for one user. Under One-Time Password, select Specific Users and Groups, and choose the user. Under Require MFA4, choose the VPN portal, SSL VPN Remote Access, and IPsec Remote Access. Then click Apply. For the user to start using the OTP, they need to download the Sophos Intercept X app and access the VPN portal to activate it. When the user wants to connect to the IPsec or SSL VPN profile, they'll be asked to enter one of the OTP. To do so, type in the username and password. Then, append the six-digit OTP to the password in the password field. In this case, it would be password 672166. And at this point, the Sophos Connect client is fully set up. I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to view the relevant documentation linked in the video description. For further assistance, view and post questions on community.sophos.com. And go to techvids.sophos.com for more great videos like this one. Thanks for watching.